Hello everyone, Jeff with The Green Review. We've got a flower bulb that we want to reproduce. Now, it's really slow to make more flower bulbs sometimes. With this one, we only have one new baby little puppy on the side. It's called an offset. So you can take it off and set it aside. So this is how you can get a new bulb and get twice as many as you had before. Now, that's a slow process. If your bulb doesn't produce any offsets in the season, then you don't get any extras. And if it only produces one or two, you only get a couple. You can cut these bulbs in half. I've cut this one in half. You can cut them into quarters. And as long as you leave some of the basal plate on here, you can get more. So now I've got two. It'll take a little time for them to dry up and then get planted and it'll grow but eventually it will give me a, a two of them instead of one so i can cl clone i can cut this cut this again and i can have four so i'm cloning i'll have identical new plants because they are from the same original plant so that's an, an easy way to get more but a grower who has spent a lot of time crossing of flowers and and getting a bunch of the little seeds to grow and over the years getting finally a big enough bulb for it to bloom and now he has a beautiful one that he wants what does he do so here's what the growers do there's a basal plate on the bottom of the bulb we have roots growing out of the basal plate here and we have storage leaves growing out of the basal plate up here the basal plate is not just this part down at the bottom it's actually a thicker area inside the bulb here what we're going to do is we're going to look for an area where we can go all the way across and we are going to make a cut in the basal plate not just on this outer part here but about halfway through the bulb itself all the way to the top here so we're we're working our way inside the bulb we're up quite a ways now on this side now we're going to go to the other side and we're going to continue our cut and we now have a cut that's about halfway through the bulb all the across there now we have two sides we're going to do this again and now you can do as many as 20 or more on a on a, uh, a large bulb now we want to keep these open and we did use a, um, a knife that was treated with um, isopropyl alcohol rubbing alcohol to sterilize it now what we've got here are toothpicks that we can dab into these cuts to hold them open because some of them don't want to stay open. Some of them will because of the way it was cut, but some of them don't. So we want to make sure that we can hold them open. Otherwise they might kind of heal back across and we don't want that to happen. We want to hold these guys up. So we've got our cuts open and held in securely in place. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plant these into uh, fresh perlite. I do like to get perlite moist to begin with so that it's not so dusty. But um, what we're going to do is create a little spot down there. Set this bulb in and spread some more of the perlite into the pot. Now you can dip the, the, the bulb in a uh, fungicide before you put it into here just in case there's uh, some dirt on things that would introduce some fungus. Um, so if you want to you can do that either a powder or a uh, liquid version and now that we've got it in here what we're going to do is we're going to water it so that it's nice and damp then we're going to cover we're going to cover the entire thing here with the uh, plastic wrap and that will help we're going to put a rubber band on it that'll help hold the moisture in right in here now this is a bulb that was getting ready to get planted outside um, it is just finished going through its dry dormancy period uh, we we're going to pot it up not plant it outside but we're going to pot it up and uh, get some flowers out of it 
but I, I didn't see any flower buds coming up yet so I was hoping there weren't any. Um, we're going to just seal this up and it'll be two or three months before we start seeing some offsets come around the outside but hopefully we'll get eight of them out of it. So uh, growers will do this and get uh, uh, you know 20 then uh, they have to take all 20 of those do those again and it'll take several years of doing that before they have enough to be able to sell. So if you ever see a catalog that says limited edition or exclusive or uh, smaller quantities that's what you're getting is a brand new bulb that's just a few years uh, old um, and it'll be a lot more expensive and once it goes through you know quite a few generations it's still the same it clone but it's going through a number of, of uh, divisions like this and it'll take uh, quite a few years to go from a seedling cross to a plant that's saleable at a, at a low price uh, it can take uh, several decades sometimes to get a, a bulb that way so if you want one that's uh, brand new you're going to pay a little more for those first few years that are where they don't have a very big quantity um, and now I will hopefully get a few more out of this and a few more out of the other pieces here. I'll plant those up as well. And that's all it takes to produce more amaryllis bulbs. Well, here's an update. We had the first half of this video filmed March 19th and now it's November 1st. And here's our amaryllis propagation pot. When it was starting to grow, it was warm enough, we moved it outside and it's been growing very well. We have nine different uh, sprouts coming out right now and it's the time of year when it can go dormant so we can unpot this, cut the leaves off, cut the roots off and let it go dormant and then repot them in a few weeks or a few months and start over again next spring and see if we can grow larger bulbs that will be uh, capable of producing flowers. The middle larger one here might produce a flower stalk this first year and it might not so we'll have to wait and see and uh, we can just leave this without water for now and let all the leaves dry back down and let it go dormant that way but uh, we want to see the root system we want to see the individual uh, bulbs to see how they're growing and maybe divide them up and so we can repot them into separate pots later and when we in this we want to grow them again in the spring so what we're going to do right now is just go ahead and unpot this thing As you remember, it was all perlite. So it unpots pretty easily here. And in the root. Well, you can see the divisions here that uh, come apart. So in this case, we have one of the sections of the uh, bulb that was uh, being cut up one of those sections of the basal plate here it has two bulbs growing off the side here is another one you can see the basal plate section again and a new bulb that's growing on it another one with two kind of attached to the sides another one this looks like two basal plate sections that we cut and we have one bulb there so um, if you want them to go dormant you can do uh, two things you can just leave them in your in the pots and let them go dormant that way and it's good to repot them in the spring with some fresh potting soil so there's better nutrients but you don't have to do that um, you can fertilize after you've uh, started them growing um, the other way to do it is to go ahead and unpot them all and get rid of the soil and, and recycle that into your compost pile and just have all these bulbs uh, go dormant and then uh, you'll be able to pot them up uh, wherever you want so, and all that you do is just you know, go down close to there and chop. That's all it takes to uh, cut these bulbs off. And then the roots, kind of the same way. Just give it a crew cut. Cut them as close to the bulb as you can. And now this, this one is ready for dormancy. And so we will let these sit and wait till spring and then replant them. The other one, the, one, the bulb that was cut in half, uh, chipmunks dug that one up. So the update is it died a long time ago because chipmunks dug it up and destroyed the bulbs. So we did get uh, quite a few bulbs out of this one. We, we were hoping for eight and we got nine, two, four, six, eight, nine. Um, if the, we had kept these two separate, uh, maybe a little more, 
we might have been able to get a couple other smaller ones instead of the one larger one. But we did pretty well, I think, to get eight bulbs out of one. It'll take a little bit of time to grow these and uh, see what the flowers look like, but they will all be identical. And so maybe there'll be a future update when they're done and, and blooming. And we will talk to you next time. This has been a Greener View.